shoulder in here. Here with Scott Lawton of the Oshawa Generals. Uh, Scott, uh, I, I heard, I've seen often seen you've uh, looked at, you've compared your, not compared yourself, but you've said Mike, Mike Richards is sort of your model player. What what about him uh, inspired you to sort of try to model your game a bit after his? I think he just plays the right way. Uh, he's a good Canadian guy who uh, who plays always good near the end of the season, plays in playoffs. He wins key draws, penalty kills. He's on the power play. He does everything for his team to win. So. He's a, he's a leader, and, and that's why I look up to him. Now, in your mind, what would scouts say are the biggest areas of your game that you have to work on between now and the time you'll be ready to go pro, aside from you know, the obvious, you know, getting fast or getting stronger? I think just my, my offensive game and my creativity. I think I've shown that in the past couple of games, and, and I think I just need to keep showing it. Obviously, speed is, is a big one. Uh, going to the next level, everyone's faster and stronger, but I think that's, uh, those are the two things I really need to work on. Yeah. Now, outside of like you know your dad, your family, who's had the most impact on you in the game? Uh, probably my uh, minor hockey coach, Dan Brown. Uh, he uh, coached me for seven years, so he's uh, taught me everything about the game and uh, just everything I know today. Yeah, uh, I'm always like sort of asking fun ones. I've seen. Uh, I guess when you were young, you tried goalie a couple times, and yeah, yeah. it didn't work out so no, well. It didn't work out. I always wanted to be a goalie, but it never worked out. And, uh, like, how? how you could be level with us. How, like, how 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 civ like were you? Uh, it was bad. I uh, I let in a couple couple weak ones, and, and definitely let in double digit goals. So. Yeah, that was also like when you're nine, ten years old. Yeah, I guess. when I when I was younger, about six or seven. And, okay. And I and I kept asking my dad, but he he always said no. <laughs> were, the, were your teammates like Scott? Get back on, oh, yeah, get yeah, back yeah. on forward, please. Yeah, it was when I was in house league, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah. I, I think I was just having fun. Oh, that's good. Well, you know, everyone should try it once, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Exactly. Um, now, um, hockey players, obviously, you guys got to be. You know, some hockey players are sometimes fa- infamous or famous for superstitions. What's something you? What's something you have to do in order to be ready to play, just to feel right? I think I just do the same thing every day. Every day. Uh, Home games, I always get there early, three hours early, and uh, and just uh, do the same thing every day. Uh, uh, take my stick the same way and, and put on my right stuff first. But I think just listening to music and being with the guys is, is always getting me. Out. Yeah, and uh, I know you were a pretty big, uh, I guess, lacrosse and golf guy growing up. Yeah, I uh, played lacrosse for Team Ontario for a couple of years, and then I. Uh, I took it off in Bantam to play uh, hockey and, and focus on hockey and my off-season training. Yeah. Now, well, we always like that end off of the fun one. What's the worst movie you've ever had to watch on the team bus? There's a couple. Uh, this year's been pretty bad with the movies. We've seen them a couple times. We watched Blue, Blue Crush a couple times, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, well, it's got, there's there's some eye candy in it, yeah. if I remember right. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, thanks so All much, right. Scott.